this is Tammy, she's one of our investigators. Hi. And she does everything in the scientific level of investigating. And we have um, uh, Ali, Alaya? Yana. Uh, Yolana. Okay, yeah. I never can pronounce her name. Okay. Uh, Investigator Donna. And she has what is called a spirit box. Can you explain what a spirit box um, is? A spirit box is a radio, basically, that's um, been modified slightly so that when you hit the scan button to find the next available station, it doesn't stop. It'll just keep scanning and scanning and scanning. And the theory behind that is, is that the entities can use that energy through the white noise to pull words that are out there so that they can talk to us. When I lived so upstairs. Picture, picture of I did have pictures, but we do not have the camera. So you have no pictures? None of them are here? No. Of them? no. Oh, gracious. Yeah, there's, there's stuff that disappears and comes back weeks later. My drill. I gun, do have the little my belts. Thing. I mean, for example, Blair just moved in and I came home one night a couple weeks ago from work. She goes, Dave, did you see my blue blanket? And my dried fruit. All right, and I go to bed. I go to bed that night. Her dog comes up and sleeps with me in the room over there. I wake up and there's a thing is right fruit sitting over in between me and the dog. I come out here and have a cup of coffee and Blair goes, do you see a thing is right fruit? And I said, yeah, I thought you put it there. It was between me and your dog. When I woke up, I put it on the mantle. I go back in there, there's her blue blanket folded over my thing. I said, did you see your blue, oh, your blue blanket's folded over my footboard. I said, did you see it last night? She goes, no. And I asked her if she saw when the dog was there. I had a uh, business meeting a few weeks ago and I got three dress belts and I'm looking all over and going, where the hell are my belts? I know where they are. They're not there. I asked Ty, do you have an extra belt? No. I don't know what. A week later, Shows up. two of the belts, no, not three, one's still missing. Two of them are folded over my, the end of the foot, you know, my footboard. Awesome. I mean, things like that. They just, you know, the thing with the, with the, the big, I call them big headed doll, like a turkey, oh, yeah. like big head, big head, I call them. Yeah. There's this doll and then this little blue ball, like, you know, if you play dodgeball, the rubber balls. I come, I you know, come in here in the kitchen. And all of a sudden, there's a rubber ball sitting here. I ask the kids, no, nobody's ball, nobody's seen it before. It's no, but nobody has a rubber ball. Nobody has this doll, Diego, some kind of Diego doll. It's called. I call him Big Head. It's kind of Big Head, and so I, you know, the, the doll shows up, and I go, you know, whose doll is this? My son and nephew, and everybody goes, it's not theirs. A couple days later, I come home from work, and and he's sitting, he's propped up in the pink chair in my room. That's my room now. He's sitting propped up, you know. A couple days after that, I come in this room, and he's in a and he's in a screwing position with an angel that I keep on top. That was for the top of a Christmas tree. Okay. A couple days later, my son calls, and that's so I throw him in the utility room, in the room that that room right there that used to have a wash and dryer that Tanya uses in her closet now. And I throw him in there on the floor with the dirty clothes, and and then a couple days later, my nephew calls me, and he's propped up in the pink chair again. About a week goes by, and I'm out at the lady friend's house, and it's raining and stuff. This was about four weeks ago when it was raining every night and everything. And I come through the front door, and which I never do, because I usually come back. The back room was my room. And I come up, and I turn the lights on, and I, I open the door, I turn the lights on, I turn around, and I almost have a heart attack. There's Big Head. is propped up against the box there. Until the next till the morning, early morning, too. Because you cannot sleep. It's almost impossible to. And then you almost have to, you know, you want to sleep because you don't want to... Here yeah, it, yeah. It, and what we plan to do is do a daytime investigation and a nighttime okay, investigation. And uh, oh Evie passes.
basement. Some of the houses in San Jose. So it's kind of, you know, interesting. So I think we're going to find some good stuff. Today. actually saying the names of people in the group. And, uh, After, and what was interesting was you would say, my name is Paul, can you say Paul? And it said Paul. Mm -hmm. and so it was like... What is your name? Sam. 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 Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> you don't know. Chris, you do you know, Chris, that you have died and that you are now spirit? Yes. Why are you bound to this house then? Just want to. Yeah. Wow. Oh my God. Yeah. yeah. 